The word of God says, I am lighting this thing to you so that you may not say, but if anyone does say, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. The word of God said, He is the propitiation for our sin. That Jesus is propitiation to our sin. The word of God said, Not for us alone, but also for the sin of the world. By this we know that we have come to know Him. If we keep His commandment, whosoever say, I know Him, but does not keep his commandment is a liar. Pass it means you are a liar. This up is means you are a liar. Eventually it means you are a liar. Apostle it means you are a liar. The word of God says, Bishop, Reverend Father, Sister, Prophet and Prophet, it means you are a liar. Because the word of God says, Whosoever that say I know him. But does not keep his commandment is a liar. The truth is not in him. The truth have no part in him, have no cause in him. But whosoever keep his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. By this we know that we are in him. Those that keep his command, those that preach the gospel, those that preach about salvation, those that walk according to the will of God, those that obey the instruction of God, preach about salvation, those that preach about repentance, that put it in action, those who serve me spirit and the truth, that is what he's talking about. That is the people he's talking about. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the true God. The word of God said in the book of Matthew, Chapter 24, verse 1 to 51. Jesus left the temple and was going away. When his disciple came to a point out to him, the builders of temple, but he answered them, you see all this thing. Do you not truly, I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown out as he sat on the mountain of olives the, the disciples came to him privately said tell us when will this this be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the close of the age and jesus answered see that no one leads you astray for many will come in my name, say, I am the Christ. They will lead many astray. And that is what we are seeing in church in the generation. That is what we are seeing today. That in many pastors are leading many to astray. That many living fathers are leading many misleading people. That a pastor is misleading the follower, his member, the bishop and misleading people. That you see satanic bishop, marine bishop, satanic pastor, reverend fathers and sisters, misleading people. You see the person misleading the land. You see the governor misleading everybody. And the word of God says uh, that you should not allow them to mislead you. You should not allow them to lead you to astray. You should not allow them to deceive you by the miracle, by the witches and ways. Everyone claiming to be God. When you are the pastor, the pastor claiming to be son of the God. Why they are son of the devil? They are son of the devil. The word of God said it. They are the son of the devil. Let us learn here with a true heart, pastor. Let all the Lord here with a true heart, Bishop, Reverend Fathers and Sisters. Let all serve Jesus with a true heart. In full and solace of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our body washed with pure water. Let all the Lord 
The Lord will take to us and wash away every evil out of our life and wash away every evil. The Lord will take to us, draw near to Jesus, that He will draw near to you. Lift in Him that He will lift in you. Allow His salvation, His word, to have a free course in your pastor. The word of God said, wash away that evil. Wash away and have a clean conscience to play the gospel. Jesus said that his name will be glorified.